the best phone to buy in 2021. Buying a new phone can be a call, but we have done the work for you. Number 10. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 Folding phones have been around for less than two years and have already seen their share for controversies. The Fold 2 is Samsung's second generation folding phone. Its main premise is that it is sized like a normal smartphone that fits in your pocket, but it unfolds to reveal a tablet size 7.6 inch display on the inside. That inside screen makes everything from reading books to browsing the web to watching video to playing games more enjoyable and immersive. When you're done using it, just fold it back up and stick it in your pocket just like any other phone. The flexibility is unmatched by any other phone you can buy right now, but it doesn't come without a significant list of compromises. The Fold 2 is twice as thick when closed compared to normal phones, and its outside screen is much smaller than what you're probably used to. It is also delicate, there is no weighted dust or water resistance, and its inner screen is more likely to get damaged if you poke it too hard. Number 9. Google Pixel 4a The best Android phone under $500 If you're on a budget and prefer Android, then the Google Pixel 4a is the obvious choice. It doesn't have the largest screen or the fastest processor, but it does have a clean version of Android that's guaranteed to get software updates for at least 3 years. The Pixel 4a's main claim to fame is its camera, which can go head to head with smartphones that cost $1500 or more. That's because Google does so much of the image processing in software, the sensor itself is actually quite old and not very special. It means the Pixel 4a can take night photos, do astrophotography and has a passable portrait mode. It can't hang with the iPhone SE for video but it beats its for photos every time. The rest of the Pixel 4a specs are good but not great. It has a 5.8-inch screen, just enough RAM to keep apps from closing in the background, and a headphone jack. There's no wireless charging, no fancy face unlock, and the board is made out of plastic instead of something more premium like glass. Number 8. Pixel 4a 5G Best G phone in 2021 Google's Pixel 4a 5G starts at $500 and gets you access to several key features. A biggish 6.2-inch screen, clean and unclutter Android software, Google's excellent Pixel camera, and of course 5G. Even though the Pixel camera isn't the very best you can get anymore, it is still is competitive with phones that cost hundreds of dollars more. No other phone at this $500, you know, the $600 on version. Price point can match the Pixel's camera equality. The Pixel 4a 5G doesn't have the fastest processor, but it does have a good-looking OLED screen. Just as importantly, it has the promise of getting timely software updates directly from Google. While other Android phones take forever to get the new versions of Android, Google's get them right away. Number 7. OnePlus 9 The OnePlus 9 is a step-down model from the OnePlus 9 Pro, which is itself an excellent phone. But you don't give up too much by opting for the 9 and you save a ton of money. Like the 9 Pro, it offers great performance with a Snapdragon 888 processor, fast 65W wired charging and something that will appeal especially to the landscape photographers out there. A great ultra-wide camera. The sensor behind the OnePlus 9's ultra-wide camera is physically larger than most and offers a healthy 50 megapixel resolution. A unique lens design corrects distortion without introducing the funhouse mirror type stretching you'll often see in the corners of ultra-wide images. And if super-wide photography isn't your thing, know that the main camera turns in solid image quality too. Images are well exposed and colors look pleasantly weaponed. Unfortunately, you do miss out on a couple of good camera features opting for the 9 rather than 9 Pro. The main camera on the 9 Pro offers optical image stabilization which isn't included on the 9 and is useful for its ability to keep subjects looking sharp in lower light conditions. There's also no telephoto lens just digital zoom, which isn't as good as 9 Pro's optical zoom. The OnePlus 9 also doesn't work on AT&T's 5G network. It works on both T-Mobile and Verizon's 5G networks. However, that's no great loss right now. Honestly, it uh, might be for the better. But in a couple of years, this will probably become a downside. 
Bearing this in mind and a couple of camera feature omissions, the OnePlus 9 is an excellent device. It offers a flagship feel and performance for a bit less than the highest and Android options and seriously good ultra-wide camera for wide-angle photo fans. Number 6. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra If you're looking for the best phone to go from morning to night with heavy use and last through it all, Samsung's top-of-the-line Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the one to get. It has a massive 4500mAh battery that keeps its enormous 6.9-inch screen going as long as you need it to. The Note 20 Ultra is also a high-end phone in every other aspect. Giant screen supports a 120Hz refresh rate for smooth interactions. Its triple rear camera system is one of the most advanced you can get. And the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus processor and 12GB of RAM allow it to perform without a hiccup. In addition, it supports Samsung's S Pen for stylus input, allowing you to write or doodle on the screen with a pen instead of your finger. Number 5. Apple iPhone 12 mini There's really only one reason to buy an iPhone 12 mini, but that's an important one. If you want a phone that's easier to use in one hand or put into a small pocket, the iPhone 12 mini is the only small phone on the market with top tier features and specs. You don't have to compromise in performance, build quality or cameras with this one, though it's much smaller in size than the other iPhone released this year. The Mini's 5.4 inch screen is still big enough for text messaging, email, web browsing, apps, video and games. And if you're coming from iPhone 6, 7, 8, it will feel quite spacious. But it's also small enough that most adults, even though with small hands, will be able to comfortably reach all of the screen with their thumb. You won't need a pop socket on this one. Otherwise, the Mini is the same phone as the iPhone 12. It has the same design, processor, cameras, 5G support and build quality as the larger model. It's just smaller and has a smaller price tag at about $100 less. Number 4. Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max The iPhone 12 Pro Max has the best camera system you can currently get on a smartphone. Its three rear cameras, standard wide, ultra wide and telephoto, combine with Apple's image processing to produce stunning images even in poor lighting. If camera quality is your most important factor when buying a phone, the 12 Pro Max is where you should be spending your money. The big difference between the 12 Pro Max and the other iPhone 12 models is found in its main camera sensor. The 12 Pro Max has a physically larger camera sensor that allows it to the gather more light and produce better quality images when in dark or challenging lighting conditions. In addition, the 12 Pro Max has an improved image stabilization system that helps keep your image sharp as light levels drop. But unless camera quality is all you care about, the 12 Pro Max isn't the best iPhone for most people. It's enormous and the squared side make it feel even bigger than its specs sheet implies. Most people will be happier with a smaller but still large screen iPhone 12. Number 3. Samsung Galaxy S21 or S21 Plus Although the Samsung Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus don't post the big numbers, the S21 Ultra does. They are still our picks right now for the best Android phones under a thousand bucks. The regular Galaxy S21 with a 6.2 inch screen starts at $800 while the Plus version with a 6.7 inch screen starts at $1000. However, both are frequently discounted with either price drops or bundles, so these are great candidates for hunting down sales. Both are essentially identical phones with three differences, screen size, battery size and materials. The processor is the same Snapdragon 888 as the Ultra. That means the Galaxy S21 is super fast and should last more than a couple of years without slowing down. Number 2. Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra With a big 6.8 inch screen, and the best cameras you can get on an Android phone is the no compromise pick. In some cases, its camera can even best the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The Galaxy S21 Ultra comes with the latest and best specs you can get on an Android. It has the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processor, which is the fastest you can get on an Android. It features support for S Pen stylus if you prefer to use a pen with your phone, although it's sold separately. The screen has a high refresh rate which makes scrolling much smoother. It also has a huge battery that will last two days without much effort. Samsung updated the design of the S21 Ultra with a metal rail that curves naturally into the camera bump on the back. It is the best looking big phone you can get right now. However, we can't say we like Samsung software as much, which at the moment is a bit glittered and featured ads in place like the Fedora. 
or a sleeker Expedient, the OnePlus Pro would be a good choice. The Ultra beats its own screen and camera quality, but it's a good device all around and offers a more grown-up take on Android OS. The camera bump houses four cameras, a regular wide-angle with a 108 megapixel sensor, an ultra-wide and two different telephoto lenses. This makes it an incredibly versatile camera system that also has a ton of advanced video features like Pro modes and 8K recording. Number 1. Apple iPhone 12 Apple has released four different variations of the iPhone 12 more than it ever has at one time. Despite all of those choices, the traditional regular model is still a good pick. The regular iPhone 12, which starts at around $830 for a 64GB model, is the best smartphone for most people. The 12 has the same overall design, the same processor, the same wireless charging, the same Face ID system, the same 5G support, the same front camera and the same main and wide-angle rear cameras as the prior year at 12 Pro but for hundreds of dollars less. On top of all that, it comes in 5 colors, one more than you can choose from in the Pro models. The iPhone 12 balances a big screen with manageable size well. Compared to the iPhone 12 mini, the iPhone 12 has a noticeably roomier display and a bigger battery. Two things that are important to many people. At 6.1 inches, it's big enough to make watching videos and reading text comfortable and engaging. But it isn't so big that it's terribly hard to use in one hand or fit in your pocket. Battery life is also very good. You can reliably expect to this phone to last all day without needing to charge up before bed. 12 gives up the telephoto camera that's available on the 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max. But that's something not everyone will miss. The iPhone 12's camera system is the best you can get in this price range and is excellent at most anything you'd use it for. It also has the ability to shoot Dolby Vision HDR for brighter and more dynamic video. Since the 12 has Apple's latest smartphone processor, the A4, the A14 Bionic, it it has extremely fast performance and fluid animations. It also has a sleeker, more modern design than the previous iPhone 11 or iPhone XR, which feel frumpy in comparison.